Well, hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jay, and today we're gonna to be dialing in some really cool guitar sounds on my computer with the Blue Cat Audio Late Replies Delay Plugin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be going a little outside of the box today by going inside of the box right over here. Um, I got myself a plug-in. It's the Blue Cat Audio uh, Late Replies Delay, and it's a really oof, intense plug-in. There's a lot of stuff, multi-tap ethereal stuff or rhythmic kind of stuff, and it can be quite overwhelming to the uninitiated. So what we're gonna to do today is instead of like my typical video, we're gonna go like one take, live off the floor, mistakes and all, and we're gonna try to develop some really cool delay sounds uh, with this plugin. And I'll like throw in a drum machine and stuff just to add a little bit more excitement into the mix as well. So uh, let's start off and get some cool sounds, all right? So uh, you can run this plugin in your DAW and then insert, this is Cubase, and I could run it here, or I could run it inside of Axiom, which is uh, the Blue Cat Audio kind of guitar amp modeler kind of thing. Um, and so this is Axiom and that's how I'm gonna do it today. You can see I have no effects on right now, uh, but I do have their guitar amp modeler. So uh, this is the guitar directly into Axiom with the modeling. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So now let's turn on the late replies and it's right over here. Let's open it up and oh, look at this. Super intense looking delay plug in here. Uh, we have our uh, effects you could put in the beginning, effects you could put in the end. Uh, this is our the amount of heads we have. So I uh, like how a, like a rolling space echo would have like multi different heads. You can add lots of different heads to this. See all the way up to eight. Uh, right now we'll stick with one. And uh, we have our feedback loops. There's two feedback loops, but we'll focus on one right now before we add the second one. So we'll just deal with one here. Uh, let's create some delay sounds. I got a bass delay. And uh, what we can do is you can do it manually, kind of get your delay time here. Or uh, you could sync it up with the tempo or the host. The host is your DAW. So uh, I think my Cubase is going at 110 BPM. So we'll just put it there. Uh, with our, here, our first reply, uh, you have different subdivisions. See, this is a whole note, this is a half note, eighth note, and you could even get more subdivisions, lots and lots, but let's stick with the basic four and go whole note. And let's hear what we got. This is just the guitar uh, with one reply. Now to act like a normal delay pedal, we have to get that feedback loop going. So uh, what we have here is our feedback section. And this is the amount of feedback or kind of repeats we have. So I could turn that up. Let's go right over here. Here we go. Here's our delay level. If I wanna like make everything kind of smooth over, I could even change that first repeat to kind of make it softer so it doesn't stick out too much. That's kind of cool. Let's add a like a backbeat going on here. Um, I got the groove agent. Let's hear what this sounds like. Now each different reply has its own level and pan and effect. So we could actually change the quality of it. We could add like say, uh, let's put this EQ over here and kind of warm it up. You can also brighten it up to make it more percussive. Cool, let's keep it around there. 
and let's add another reply. So we'll get two here and we'll set this one. Yeah, that's a good place. Dotted eighth note. an effect to that one as well. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wah. So that dotted eighth note has a repeat, or sorry, that wah going on it, but the uh, whole note still has just that EQ. Let's pan them one side to another, like that, and I'll take down the level a bit on that wah one too. Super cool, I'll make it even more obvious of that pan. Now, we can actually play with our feedback loop time. So, we have that first one get offset it on the grid, so it actually enters a little bit later. And we could even play with the uh, subdivisions with our feedback loop. So this is it straight. And let's move it back over here like this. Kind of a different feel, isn't it? Let's add another reply and uh, I don't know, let's put a tremolo on it or something. Here we go. Change the groove. All right, now let's go play with that second feedback loop. We could have two different feedback loops going on at the same time. So let's turn that on and see what we got here. blend one loop into the other, so this is going to go into here. Some more effects. Let's put like a phaser in the beginning. That's gonna go on everything. And 
then we'll glue everything together with some uh, compression at the very end. And that is The Late Replies by Blue Cat Audio. Well, that's it. That's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on The Late Replies, you can check it out on Patreon. All the reviews I do are actually on Patreon and my demos and tutorials, those kind of videos, everything else pretty much <laughs> is right here on YouTube. Uh, that being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.